Today we're looking at something that should truly disgust anybody who's a reseller or who ships items across the country. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at something that I truly am disgusted to see. We're going to be looking at transportation related issues, theft of massive amounts of your packages going on right now all over the place. We're going to look at some of the drastic issues going on. This may affect quite a few people out there if you're using this service. Uh, we're also going to look at some of the statements and policy changes this company has made to avoid having to shell out any money if something does happen as well. So as you can see with this video here, this is just a little touch on what's going on. This is streets lined with FedEx and all sorts of other packages that were stolen from trains. It lines up as far as the eye can see. Thousands and thousands of packages that were opened and their contents stolen. All kinds of stuff. Your personal items, personal everything. And this has been going on for a while because this is just now. This is a new one here from the 23rd. Some of the actual uh, TV stations went there multiple times, and every single time they were there, as, a, as according to this article, you can see thieves doing the exact same thing, including both of these shots here, which are from separate times of this happening on. As far as the eye can see, there's no way that someone at this facility doesn't know that this is going on. It's been going on for a long time. They even have tracked down some of the folks that their packages were stolen to show them what's going on. Many of these cases, the FedEx is just telling them that it's just delayed and that's it. Even the, the Union Pacific train line appears to have known it's been going on and has been addressing the issue, but yet nothing seems to be done about it. Now, I'm going to have links to all of these posts, all of these articles I'm showing you here. You can check them out yourself. This is straight from there. Personal items, um, items from people who have died, medication. There's medication in here that's supposed to be sent overnight to people that needs to be refrigerated for their health. That's the sort of thing that's going astray and being stolen, which is truly disgusting in my book because in some cases you can't get some of this medication locally or the insurance won't cover it. So people are risking someone's life by doing this. Even the police, the way it looks like here, were a little bit puzzled by the fact that this is even going on. You can see a FedEx truck right here opened and already being pilfered. You can see people running over with cutters to cut some of the chains off. Now, in this case, obviously, it's FedEx's trucks that are being broken into, at least the ones that they're showing here. It's their locks, FedEx locks. It has nothing to technically do with the trains themselves. If the locks can be broken in here, they can be broken in anywhere. It's just not a good way to, to do business, obviously. I've tried to find other stories from UPS and some of the other transportation companies. It all comes back to FedEx, everything I can see. The majority of all of this is related to FedEx, it seems. I've had personal issues with FedEx dropping off packages that weren't even to my address and they refused to pick them up. This is just another example of it. Thousands of packages sitting on the sides of a road, thousands of packages sitting on the side of the trains as well. They're running over boxes. There's just so much of this going on. Now here's another one. Pomona police found $100,000 of property stolen from parked trains. At this point, it's not even needed to steal it from your porch. They can just steal it from the trains or the transportation equipment. These are all brand new tires. On top of that, again, people's packages stolen as well. In many areas, who knows how far this is going along. There are tons and tons and tons of packages going astray. The majority of the ones that we run into are from FedEx these days. We won't even buy from anybody who uses FedEx. If they are going to ship at FedEx, I'm not going to buy from them. I will spend more to get it from somebody else because the chances of me getting my items these days seem to be very slim depending on whether it's ground or not. This article will be linked there as well. This is from August, from trains being uh, robbed at that point. The one we just showed you before was from November. Now here's another issue, again, tied to FedEx. Now, I dug into our local FedEx folks here. The people who deliver the ground in our area are just somebody off the street that was able to come out and pick up boxes. I've seen trucks show up here with so much rust in it and holes in the top where anything in it would get wet. 
and the trucks were just disgusting. There was dirt and filth in them that they were loading and moving packages in. A couple of the drivers I talked to were from an hour and a half away and hadn't a clue even how to get here other than using their phone. So there's no GPS. There's no way to verify where the stuff's going from what I see. There's no cameras on the local trucks around here. We'll show you some articles from local newspapers talking about it. It's not just here. Now this article here is about boxes being found in the woods in a ravine. Someone had been dumping FedEx boxes, someone who was picking them up from FedEx and taking a check from FedEx was dumping them out in the woods of Alabama. Now, this is from early November. Again, I will have the article down here. You can read all about it in this one as well. Now, since that, another group of packages have been found out in the woods somewhere as well. The exact same scenario, a bunch of boxes that should have been delivered are not being delivered. Someone's picking them up Again, collecting the money for servicing them and dumping them in the woods. FedEx again. FedEx seems to be the one in every one of these cases I keep running into. We've already decided we won't mess with FedEx or, again, as I said, anybody who delivers via FedEx. I won't buy from them anymore at all. Now, here's another article, and this is talking about medication and things being lost and people paying for overnight service from FedEx. Now, the bad part about this is obviously FedEx didn't deliver the packages for weeks later, even though people have been paying for overnight service. Now, here is FedEx's response. COVID-19 has disrupted the air cargo market and generated a surge in residential deliveries in the U.S. As a result, we are continuing to suspend our money back guarantee for all FedEx Express, FedEx Ground, FedEx Freight, except FedEx Freight. Priority Plus and FedEx office services until further notice. So basically, they're not suspending the service. They're just not going to give you your money back if something happens. But yet they are still collecting for those said services. So in my book, this just shows a total lack of respect for those people that they want to use their service. Now, this is just one post. I could find the same basic statement on bunches of other posts from FedEx as well, going back to February and May, right off the bat on this aspect. So if you've got medication, it's being sent FedEx, it doesn't show up and the medication's ruined, you're out the medication, the cost of it, and you're out the cost of shipping. In my mind, if you aren't able to deliver packages, a vast majority of them, you shouldn't be accepting those packages for delivery. You should say you can't handle it instead of screwing people over left and right. Now, yet here's another one. And this one's back from March this year. Again, it's going way back. This has been going on and on for quite some time. This one talks about PlayStation 5s, iPhones, and high-end electronics being stolen off of trucks. In these cases, it shows the items being loaded onto a truck, but they never get delivered. There's no scan for destination, and the packages are just gone. Any Joe Schmo down the street can have a truck go to FedEx, apparently, and pick up merchandise if they sign some contract or something from what I have personally seen online. Now, this one here is from my local TV station. It's one of their online articles. It's local from September. It's here. There's tons of complaints about the facility that I've had to deal with here. The amount of inconvenience, the amount of missing stuff around here from FedEx seems to be horrendous, enough to make the news in many, many different articles. Now, here's another PR statement similar to the one I just read. FedEx Ground continues to experience significant package volumes due to the explosive growth of e-commerce brought on by the onset of COVID-19. That, coupled with the severe ongoing industrial workforce shortage, has created operational challenges. We sincerely regret any inconvenience caused by delays and appreciate our customers' patience as we implement contingencies, including securing additional package handling resources to restore or service levels. Problem is the people that they're getting to fill these spots aren't qualified, aren't trained, don't work for FedEx, and are just contracted out by who knows who around here. This is just short-sightedness. All they're worried about is getting the money collected to ship the packages, even if they can't guarantee delivery of those said packages. You're just inconveniencing people to take their money. And if something isn't right, you're already stated that you're not going to give any money-back guarantees on those packages. So if you're not guaranteeing the packages, but yet you're taking them and can't delivering them and still wanting people to trust you, that's just crazy thought. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you an eye-opener on some of the drastic, truly disgusting issues going on right now with your packages out there, yours, mine, and everyone else's. 
it's kind of sad that the company who is allowing this to happen is not covering and making this good for those folks who are paying for their service. To suspend any money back guarantees on delivery service is crazy. You shouldn't be taking packages if you can't honor what your company is supposed to do with them. If you're allowing them to easily be cut open and stolen out of a truck sitting in a train yard or anything like that, if you're hiring people that are going to start throwing your packages into the woods just to collect a paycheck and not do anything. Again, around here, FedEx ground is delivered by anybody with a truck. Every time it's somebody else, beat up trucks, old trucks, who knows, again, what is going on with these. I even saw an expired license plate on one of the trucks showing up. Who knows whose truck that even was? Who knows what went on with your packages? Several of our packages were opened and pieces were missing, taken out of them when they were dropped off as well. We've had packages lost by them as well that we had no control over also. It's the only service right now that we seem to have any type of issues with. If you're going to buy from somebody, I would seriously recommend reaching out to them before you buy to make sure that they do not ship FedEx. We contacted FedEx directly at least six different times about one package alone that wasn't even ours delivered to our address. No results, no return, no response, no nothing. It was just a joke. Don't use FedEx. Don't buy from any seller that uses FedEx either. It's not the seller's fault, but again, you can't have any guarantee whatsoever on its safety, on whether it's going to be delivered, whether it's going to be late, who's going to be in possession of it, or anything. So, word to the wise, be safe, be careful, and use other means to ship your items if you value your customer's property. That's the bottom line here. It's about the customers, and if the customers have risk of the items being stolen, not delivered, or thrown into the woods, I wouldn't use that service. The issues go across the entire country. You can look at them from Alabama. There's some in Florida, Louisiana, here in Ohio. I've seen them all the way out to California where they're being stolen on trains. So again, be careful, be diligent. So use the post office or UPS or some other service besides FedEx. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Tootsie Roll, I think I'm in love with you Whatever it is, I think